Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a, another epic Royal Rumble. Uh, we got another tournament coming up. This is Marcus versus TH. This is uh, match number five of round one, five out of eight. We still got more to go. Uh, we've had a couple this weekend, so um, we're going to try to pick back up. Um, guys, the episodes are probably going to get delayed if you're seeing this, unless I pulled off some miracle, which I doubt I did. Um... But we'll try to. I'll try to work on them a lot next weekend, and uh, hopefully we could get at least a couple out. Uh, so just to let you guys know, sorry about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing started. So let me give you guys the rules. If you guys do not know the rules, I will. As each team loses a person, I will tell you what team they're from. Either Team Marcus or Team. TH. Okay. Um, I will make a tally mark. I'll try to keep up with it. And let me also remind you all, they will all, it's every man for himself. So even though there's 15 versus 15, it could backfire. You know, it always does. I mean, so expect that. But I'll try to keep track of everyone. But the, sometimes it's hard to. But we're starting off with Dr. Eggman from Sonic. And who will be fighting Dr. Eggman? Dark Side. Oh, man. And he is definitely a force to reckon with in this Rumble. He is definitely one of our top dogs. And him at number two is a big hit for the uh, whoever's team he's on. Like I said, I won't reveal what teams they're on. I've already revealed the teams. So if you guys have already, already know, you already know. But I will not tell you until they are eliminated or until we're to the final two. Or the final person of one team. So, we're starting off with Dark Side versus Dr. Eggman. Let's go. And a nice clothesline there by Dr. Eggman. And. We'll see what happens in this. So far, we've had a lot of good ones. And number three is Space Ghost. I've never really watched that show or, like, I may have seen it once when I was a kid. But I, I, I that's one show I, I might want to check out. I don't know, but look here. Space Ghost! So much for checking that out. He's already gone. And that is a loss for TH. So one tally there for TH. And that's how... Marcus versus TH. The winner is probably going to face either, uh, I think, Robert T or um, or Dragon Slayer, depending who won that fight. We'll probably have that before actually this one, so uh, you already know the winner. I actually already know the winner, but just in case we put them out wrong, uh, I, I didn't want to uh, give it away. Just in case. It goes the other way around. <laughs> and Donnie Darko's here. Frank the Bunny. It's technically not Donnie, but it's Frank the Bunny from uh, Donnie Darko. I love that creation. And he might not last long. And number five is Bruce Lee. And Darkseid drops Frank there. Oh, man. What a drop. And Bruce Lee went for a slide. It did not work. I don't know what he was doing. And the Green Goblin at number six. All right. So the Green Goblin at number six here. 
And Bruce Lee is going to be the next one, it looks like. Green Goblin doing a, a flip right there. And that is a loss for TH. So TH has lost two now. And Joker 2019 is number seven. And here comes Joker 2019, Joaquin Ver uh, Phoenix version. And like I said, guys, we got a lot of good talent in here. Got a lot of variety of people. Got some anime people today. You got some Marvel, DC, movies, all that good stuff. Video games, all that stuff. So you're going to definitely enjoy it, guys, if you, if you haven't yet. And number eight is Kit Fisto. From Star Wars. He was the uh, Jedi that last five seconds against Palpatine. The other ones lasted, the, well, there was four Jedis. Him, Mace Windu, and two other weird-looking ones. And uh, they lasted about two seconds. Kit Fisto lasted five seconds. The only reason he lasted five seconds is he got in a tangle. That's why. So, and Monkey from uh, One Piece. And Eggman's out, and that is a loss for Marcus. So a loss there for Marcus. And this one's going to be harder to keep track of because they're on separate pages. That's always harder. The last one I did wasn't. So that was easy to keep track of. And there goes Joker 2019, and that is a loss for TH. So TH has lost another one. Russell Westbrook is number 10. And uh-oh, Dark Side. There goes Kit Fisto. That is a loss for TH. Another loss there for TH. Darkseid and Frank are going back and forth here. So, so far it's four to one in losses. Frank and uh, Darkseid, they are having a fight and a half here and it's not going to end well for one of them. I think it's going to be Frank. Yep. And Frank's been eliminated and that is a loss for Marcus. So Marcus loses one there. And number 11's Broly. So a big guy here. We got a couple big guys on both teams, I believe. So, well, more on one than the other. So that's interesting. We'll see how it plays out. But look at the Green Goblin. Oh, that is a loss for TH. Tried to charge Broly there. So TH with five losses now. He has 10 left. He's one third through. And Broly keeps on surviving eliminations. He survived that one just now. And Captain America's number 12. And uh-oh, Broly versus Darkseid. Some of the biggest guys. And Russell Westbrook helps him. That is a big loss for Marcus. Big loss. And a double team by Broly and Russell Westbrook. What are the odds? Only on this channel will you see this. Yeah. 
And Pinhead's number 13. And there goes Monkey, so that is a loss for Marcus. So Marcus loses another one there. It's going to be hard going back and forth here. So now it's four to five on losses. He can turn that easily. The tables can turn that easily in these rumbles. There goes Pinhead. Another nice reversal by Broly. That is a loss for TH. So TH loses one there. Broly. Oh, man. Now Broly eliminated. A loss for Marcus. That's another big loss for Marcus. Both of his, I think those are two of some of his biggest guys in this thing. Yep. So two of his biggest guys are gone. Yep. Oh, well, he's got, uh, someone else has another big guy. But those were the, uh, those were two of the biggest. So there's still one more big guy on one of the teams. And Hunk dropping everyone. Dr. Doom's number 15 here. And Hunk, we all love Hunk. He's got the worst soldier name ever. He's like a hunk, you know? And that's what the ladies call him, a hunk. Like, come on, guys, come on. What were you thinking when you made that character? I guess they're called hunks. Like, really? That sounds so hardcore. Like, I don't know what where they got that name from, but whatever. It just kills me. Yeah, they're not anything special. Trust me. And Captain Falcon's number 16. So we got two captains in this rumble. And each captain is on the other team, which I I found kind of interesting. A little fun fact there for you. And uh oh, uh oh, Captain Falcon and Russell Westbrook. Oh man, Russell Westbrook with a spear on Captain Falcon. There's really not been a standout in this rumble. Westbrook's been pretty impressive, but look here. Dr. Doom eliminates him. That is a loss for TH. So TH loses another one. And uh-oh. Oh, man. Mr. Miyagi kicks Hunk in the back of the neck. You know, I almost put in the wrong guy. Uh-oh, Mr. Miyagi. He out throws Hunk out. So that is a loss for Marcus. And Darth Vader's number 18. Yeah, Mr. Miyagi just took down the Hunk, so... Yeah, he wasn't going to do much anyway. He never does. And Darth Vader going after Captain America here. Look here! Oh, Captain America's still in it. But Doctor Doom could be in trouble. Mr. Miyagi, man, he's caused a lot of problems in this thing. And 19's Bad Bunny. And he actually... It's, it's so funny because they made him before he actually was on wrestling. So that, that's hilarious. And 20 is the Lone Ranger. So the Lone Ranger at number 20 here. Oh man, what a slam. Uh-oh, Captain America. Somehow, oh, Captain Falcon gets rid of a Captain America. That's a loss for Marcus. And another loss for Marcus for Doctor Doom. I actually memorized this team a lot better than usual. So, two uh, losses there for Marcus. And Shinnok is 21. 
And Captain Falcon takes out Captain America. So I told you each team had a captain. Uh, so that that's interesting how that played out too on top of it. And uh-oh, Lone Ranger. Mr. Miyagi eliminates the Lone Ranger, and that is a loss for TH. So, 8-8. Eight to eight. And Captain Falcon's done. So that's a loss for TH. Now 9-8. And Miyagi with the kick on Bad Bunny. Miyagi slapped Darth Vader. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking, slapping Darth Vader. You know, wax on, wax off his face. <laughs> and I can never say this name, but he's number 22. I've never seen the show. I don't know anything about it. Uh, I just know it's an anime. That's all I know. It's under the category of anime on uh, the creation, so... It's definitely an odd looking character. And the thing is number 23, the thing. So that's the last really big guy we got. Of course, Vader's pretty big as well. Um and the thing. And I know someone else has the thing. Another team has the thing. We'll get that situated, but unless we get to that bridge, we're not going to cross that bridge unless we get there. So, just to let you guys know ahead of time, I know some another team has the thing. Bad Bunny versus Shinnok. What a matchup. <laughs> the thing versus Darth Vader. Uh-oh. Darth Vader may take him. Uh-oh. Look here. I don't know if I would have went for that move. Vegeta's number 24, though. I guess nobody's really gotten eliminated here because I haven't been keeping track, really. I don't think anyone's got eliminated for a little bit here. There's, someone's probably about to, though. Any second. And Darth Vader with the big elimination. for, And that's an elimination for Marcus. 9-9 nine to nine now. And a big elimination. He's lost all of his big guys. So all of his big guys are gone. The, the humongous guys. And there goes Shinnok. And that is a loss for TH. So he's got 10 losses now. He's down to 5 people. Marcus is down to 6. That's how the count should be. I'm not 100% on that. But I think I'm right. And Darth Vader again. And that's another hit on Marcus. So Marcus is now officially lost 10. And Darth Vader's a big reason why. Darth Vader is uh, causing a lot of problems for Marcus. And uh-oh, look over here. We got Leonard in trouble. Miyagi's in trouble. Look at Do Mr. Miyagi, though, with the reversal. Miyagi versus Vader. Oh man, he couldn't even, he can't lift him. He can't lift him. You know, that wax on wax off doesn't make you a bodybuilder. I, I hate to break the news to you, Miyagi. Cobra Kai for life. <laughs> and uh-oh, Leonard! Look at Leonard! Oh! Yeah, there's no way that would have, was gonna happen that easy. Leonard was trying to live a nerd fantasy and eliminate Vader. And that's a lot harder than it is. And uh, I guess that's Cyrus from Spartacus. That's actually a big guy, actually. So they still have him, whoever has him. That's a pretty big dude. He's going to be kind of a little bit hard to get out of the rumble. But, you know, he's not humongous like the Thane or Broly is and Darkseid. 
But he's, he's Vader size, so he can cause some trouble. And we're getting down to the finals, and Leonard's determined to get out Vader. And Leonard, no way, takes down Vader. Oh, my goodness, from Big Bang Theory. That's the biggest career moment of his life, and that is a loss for TH and a big one. And uh, it looks like Marcus gets revenge on Vader. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. And I know I revealed a team thing, but whatever. Mr. Miyagi's eliminated. So that is a loss for TH. TH is down to three people. I can't believe Bad Bunny's still here. And Lord Zed's 28. Even if you're down to one person, I mean, it doesn't matter because you, you've seen what happened in the Rumble before. We've had it a couple times now where you're down to one person and you end up in the final too. So even if there's five to one. But Bad Bunny's done. He's got to be done here. And Bad Bunny's been eliminated. So that is another loss for TH. He is down to two. Marcus has five. One of TH's is in the ring right now. One hasn't came out yet. So. And Cyrus, oh, oh, Leonard's still hanging on, man. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Beast, what were you doing? <laughs> that did not make sense. Oh, Beast. He thinks he's wise. He acts like he's wise all the time. If you were so wise, you could fix yourself easily. Actually, I don't know if he can fix himself or not. I, I thought he could in the X-Men movies, but not in the show. And that is a loss there for Marcus. So he loses another one, the anime character. And Bandit Keith is number 29. So Bandit Keith, number 29 from Yu-Gi-Oh! All, uh, he's an all-American Yu-Gi-Oh player. <laughs> I forget how he plays. I, I think he has a dinosaur deck, if I'm not mistaken. He has a dinosaur deck. and Yeah, so much for his dinosaur deck. Lord Zed eliminates him, and that's a loss for Marcus. So now Marcus has three. TH has two. And I think I did the count exactly right. And CM Punk is number 30. Surprise, surprise. And look at Beast here. There's no way Leonard survives this. Yep. And that is another loss for Marcus. It is 2v2. So let me go ahead, and I'll go ahead and say the teams. Team TH is Beast. And CM Punk, Team Marcus is Lord Zed, and uh, I guess it's Cyrus. I don't know exactly what his name is, but I just call him Cyrus. So we're going to leave it that way. And Well, he just betrayed his own guy. So now Marcus is down to one. But he's a big guy. So we'll see how far this one can go. We're down to three people. TH has two, Marcus with one. And look at CM Punk here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Could TH take it here? And TH wins the Rumble. But it's not over. So, Marcus has been eliminated. And it is down to Beast and CM Punk. They're both on TH's team. Marcus' team is out. But good attempt still, Marcus. Uh, the thing that cost you was the three big guys. Losing them really early in the Rumble. I felt like cost you. But Leonard taking down Darth Vader was big for Marcus. He did get that big one. Um, but Darth Vader took out a couple of his. And it is down to Beast versus CM Punk. What a matchup. Like, what are the odds of this? Only on my channel will you see this. Only on my channel. So, And here we go. And Beast may take it. Well, no, CM Punk hasn't been in there long, has he? Ah, uh, Beast? I think CM Punk's going to hang on. Yep. 
If I was CM Punk, I'd drag him or and, and hit him. Oh, he's got him up against the ropes. But he didn't charge him. He went for the strikes instead. And CM Punk with a brutal kick. And a leg drop. And Beast with a drop kick. Yeah, Beast can move quick. Even though he's a big guy, he's sort of a big guy, but he can move quick too. So he's he's more like just a heavyweight. And CM Punk says he doesn't care because he's the code of personality, Beast. So get out of here. Get out of my life, Beast. I've never liked Beast. I really don't. I just think he's a loser. I do. And CM Punk made him a loser tonight. So... How about that for a pipe uh, bomb? Is that what they call it? Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, that's what they call it. And CM Punk, you're not going to WrestleMania, though. I, I, I hate to, um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You are not going to WrestleMania. Why? Because you're number 30, okay? Like, come on, dude. Come on. And by the way, I think you have a Pepsi tattoo. And just to educate you, Coke's better. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm already starting stuff. So, congratulations there to TH. Good try by Marcus. Uh, he definitely had some moments in this rumble. But TH wins. And I did not expect TH to win. I don't think I predicted him to win because he didn't have as many big guys. Uh, he had a couple pretty big guys, but not humongous guys. So, But he still wins, so he will go to the next round. Guys, make sure to like, comment, and sub. We are going to have more of these. I will see you guys later.